In this video, we're going to take a look at finding a greatest common factor. What a greatest common factor is, is it's the largest factor that divides into each term. And with numbers, this is often easy to see with a little bit of guess and check, but on variables, we need to keep in mind that if, for example, I have two dogs and you have six dogs, what's in common is we both have at least two dogs. That smaller amount is what we have in common. So on variables, we will use the lowest exponent that is in common on all of them. So for example, if I have 5a to the 4th plus 10a squared, and I'm asked to find the common factor, the greatest common factor, that should say, I could look and say, what can I divide both of these by? Well, 10 and 15 can both be divided by 5. They also both have a's in common. In fact, using the lowest exponent, they both have at least a squared in common. I could divide both terms by 5a squared, and I would have no remainder. It would go in there evenly. So we say that the greatest common factor of both terms is 5a squared. Similarly, if we had 4a to the 4th, b to the 7th, minus 12a squared, b to the 6th, plus 10ab to the 9th, we're looking for the greatest common factor that we can divide all three terms by. First, looking at the numbers 4, negative 12, and 10, you'll see we can divide each of those by 2. 2 goes into each of them. They also all have some variables in common. They all have at least one a. In fact, using the lowest exponent, there's only one a on the third term, so one a is all they have in common. But they also all have b's. Oops, forgot the a's all the way across. They also all have b's. How many b's do they have at least in common? Using the lowest exponent, they all have at least 6 b's, which means I could divide each and every term by 2ab to the 6th. This is the greatest common factor, or the largest thing, that I can divide each term by with having no remainders, no fractions. So that's how we can identify that greatest common factor. We find the largest number that divides in each term, and of the variables that are in common, we'll use the lowest exponent.